Hello, Fast Signs family, Catherine again. Hey, we're two months into this pandemic. Maybe it's a little bit more if you're in the UK, maybe it's a little less based on what state you're in, but about two months that life has just been dramatically changed. And I know sometimes I suffer with how do I maintain a positive attitude? I think it's really important for me as a leader to have a positive attitude, to be able to motivate and inspire my team our franchise family, my family, uh, my friends, my community. It's what I want to work on to, you know, motivate the International Franchise Association members to get through this tough time. And I've done a lot of studying over the years. I've shared with you before. I've been through lots of therapy in my 20s and I learned a lot and I continue to learn to read a lot and try to figure out how to help me myself personally set that positive mindset. So. As we sit here two months into this thing, is it going to be over in two months? I don't think so. I think it's going to be a little bit longer than that. It might be 10 months. It might be 12 months. It might be even more than that. We got to get some good medicine. We got to get a good vaccine in place. But how do we maintain a positive outlook and those days we don't have a positive outlook, get one. And so I want to share nine ideas with you. And this really comes from the fact that Anxiety thrives in the unknown and the anxious brain, the worrying brain fills it with worst, worst case scenarios. And if we fall prey to listening to that anxious brain that's playing out all these worst case scenarios, we can spiral downward. We can get into really negative thinking. We can even get into depression. Um, so these are nine ideas I want to share with you that work for me. And I'm hoping that one, two, five or nine of them will work for you. Number one, I focus on what I control. Focus on what you can control. And what are the things you can control? Well, some of them are as simple as um, getting dressed in the morning and going for a 30 minute walk and making a to-do list and working through your to-do list and just doing some things each and every day, making some sort of progress. You can control what you eat. You can control uh, who you talk to, you control what you watch and what you intake. So focus on what you can control. I find that that helps me a lot. I can also control how I speak to myself. So when I'm feeling down and that happens, I speak to myself and get myself back up. If I find myself spiraling down mentally, I actually yell at myself, stop got to stop that and start thinking about positive things, right? And so I need that same kind of refresher from time to time as well. So focus on what we control. And that simple process of me making a to-do list and doing some things and crossing them off, even if it's easy stuff, there's just a feeling of control. There's a feeling of accomplishment and that helps you feel powerful where negative thinking and depression makes you feel powerless. So number one, focus on what we can control. Number two, limit your intake of news in the media. Now, I didn't ever have to do this before, but since the pandemic, I do about an hour of news in the morning, about an hour of news in the evening, and then forget it. It's music, it's uh, or quiet, right, while I'm working. I uh, really have found that if I surround myself with this nonstop negative bad news, it does bad things to me. And I need to be knowledgeable about my emotional health and I gotta be respectful of my emotional health. And limiting my intake of news has really, really helped. And listening to good music, man, uh, for a while early in the pandemic, I had to listen to smooth jazz, but I'm back to good party few party favorites, rock and roll, means I'm in a better place than I was early in the pandemic, at least for me, from a music standpoint. Number three, focus on the good stuff. There's so much bad stuff going on. Try to find that good stuff. There are so many stories out there, out there now about people helping people whether it's high school kids going grocery shopping for seniors so seniors don't have to leave their homes or mowing somebody's lawn, just whatever it is, look for those stories of people helping people. And that helps refill your spirit. And it also is balancing out the negative news. Number four, set a schedule and set some goals, right? Um, I set a goal to lose five pounds during the pandemic and I'm, I'm trending in the right way. Uh, I lost a, lost the five, gained a couple back, but I'm very close to getting that 
last two that I gained back off, but setting a goal, whether that's work goals, uh, making a video once a, once a week for Fast Signs franchisees. I'm setting goals and then I'm crossing them off as I get things done. So set a schedule, set some goals. Using time wisely and sticking to some sort of a routine is very helpful for the brain. And uh, take a little time every day to do something towards achieving a personal goal and something to achieving a business goal. And that setting a schedule and setting goals and doing something every day towards those is really gonna help your mind. Number five, and this is so, so important. Invest time in uplifting things and invest time in having fun. One of the things I do may not work for you, but it works for me is I read positive quotes and I've been collecting quotes for years. And we got this whole inspiration hall. We got about 200 quotes in our inspiration hall. If you want the uh, Microsoft Word file, just let me know. I've sent it to you before. I can send it to you again. But that helps me reading positive quotes and filling my mind with positive things. For some people, it's singing along with songs. For me, that's not the case. My singing voice is akin to fingernails on a chalkboard. It even scares me. So that one doesn't work for me. Um, spend time with positive people. If you've got positive friends, spend time with them. You got negative friends, stay the hell away. Um, think about fun activities. It could be dancing. Sometimes in the evenings, I dance to good rock music good party rock music. I'm by myself. I'm dancing. And that is fun. That's fun for me. Um, playing games. If you got, you know, family in the house, play charades. Uh, you know, I don't want to say go out and play tennis because maybe you're not physically fit enough for tennis, but buy a badminton set for God's sakes and play badminton with your kids, right? Nobody ever hurt themselves playing badminton, right? But try to do something fun. Watch comedies. When you can get your mind free and laugh, it does great things for your spirit. So I'd start watching all those movies. I wouldn't be watching scary terrorism war movies right now. I'd be watching comedies and things that make your heart happy. For some people, not me, sewing or needlepoint, it gets your mind off what you're doing and there's a rhythmic nature to it. That might be something that's good and fun for you. Keeping a gratitude, a gratitude journal. I like to write down all the blessings in my life and I like to review them. That That's very uplifting for me. Positive self-talk. Tell yourself how great you are. Tell yourself how great you're doing. Talk about your power to yourself. Very, very positive. I do a lot of positive self-talk. I talk out loud to myself. It's a good thing I live alone. Otherwise, somebody would think that I was a freak. So the more you think positively, the more you hang out with positive people, the more you laugh, the more you focus on peace and gratitude, you're going to find it's going to lift your mood. Number six, take care of your body and improve your health. I'm not saying do some crazy ass dumbass thing like go be a vegan for a period of time or do a 12 day juice cleanse. I'm not saying anything extreme, but take little tiny steps to improve your health because that's going to make you feel better. Your body is your most priceless possession and you got to take care of it. So it may be eating more vegetables. It may be less sugar. It may be less junk food. It may be going for a walk. I have been walking on average five miles a day after work. Um, I put in that day of work and before it gets dark, I go out and I walk for an hour and I'm an averaging five miles. Now the days it's pouring rain, that doesn't happen, but we've been blessed with really great weather for the most part, the last 60 days. Stretch, take some yoga. Um, I know that at least today gyms are closed. So I'm not saying go work out at the gym, but do something to move your body. Do something to eat a little bit more healthy. I'm a big believer in supplements. If you know, I'm not telling you to take supplements, but I think it makes me healthier and stronger, but take care of your body and improve your health. Number seven, works for everybody I know, help others do something good for somebody else. And that could be, you can't see your nail lady right now. You can't see the person that cuts your hair. Maybe you pay them anyway, not paying them in advance because they're going to give you a free haircut or a free manicure. But I have found great joy in paying some of my service providers that can't provide me service right now. I've also found joy in sending flowers to lift the spirits of a friend or sending notes of encouragement. But what are other things that might work for you? I don't know what they are. It might be um, buying food for the food bank. It might be um, doing uh, 
errands for somebody who's in that compromised health area, somebody who's uh, at high risk of, of getting very, very ill with COVID. But just when you help other people, shop for somebody's food, take them dinner, whatever it might be, that lifts your spirits naturally. Uh, number eight, and a lesson I learned a long time ago, but it really helps me is understand your response is your responsibility. I'm responsible for how I respond and you are too. Just yesterday, I was given this bracelet and it says, I own my response. Uh, I own my response. That's about my response being my responsibility. I've been wearing it ever since I've been given it yesterday. And I think it's going to be my new thing that I wear all the time. I mean, it's not as pretty as some other jewelry I have, but it just reminds me that to be a great CEO, I got to act in a positive, gracious way. I've got to lead well and not like fly off the handle. So my response is my responsibility. And that has really helped me to make sure I'm grounded. And then number nine, learn new things. For me, TED Talks, reading a book, taking an online class. Uh, if you're not good at understanding your financial statements and how to improve cash flow, go work on Profit Mastery on the University of Fast Signs online. But they're filling your mind with new things, learning new things will make you feel good and will help you get in a positive place. Now, all of us are going to have days when we fall down. I have days when we fall down and when I fall short and I'm not as good as I should be, I apologize to whoever I may have offended. I think that's really important to apologize to people. If I've lost my cool, I will apologize right away. Um, and then the next thing is you got to apologize to yourself. You got to be willing to forgive yourself. Okay. I dropped the ball here. I didn't do well. I, I showed some emotion I shouldn't have shown. Okay, Catherine, I forgive you. I'm forgiving myself when I say that. Learning to forgive yourself is really, really important and letting go and then starting back over. So what are the nine things that are working for me? Focusing on what I can control, limiting my intake of news and media and social media, focusing on all the good stories of people helping people, setting a schedule, setting goals and doing something every day to achieve them, investing time in the uplifting and investing time in fun and laughing, taking care of and improving my body and my health, helping other people, understanding my response is my responsibility and learning new things. I can stay positive through this pandemic. We all can find a way to stay positive during this pandemic. Forgive ourselves on the times we fall down, pick ourselves right back up. We can do this. We can be great leaders. We can be great parents. We can be great friends. And uh, remember, we're all in this together and everybody here at Fast Signs International is ready to help you any way possible. Thanks for putting up with me again.